Today, Marco Finney Zombie has gone ahead and invited us to the middle of nowhere, where I have a feeling he's gone ahead and prepared our next challenge for us, which involves some sort of weird spider mutation. So let's go and speak to him and let's go and see what he wants us to do. Hello Naveed, your challenge for today will be to morph into a spider, with you starting off as a baby mob. Then towards the end, you will become a titan spider. Make sure not to destroy our world. The villagers are rooting for you. Oh, I guess that's why Marco Funny Zombie has gone ahead and sent us in the middle of nowhere. Because towards the end, we'll become a titan spider, which I think is going to be awesome. Well, guys, before Marco Funny Zombie morphs us, I do want to give a shout out to Megan as well as Vincent for being members of this wonderful channel. If you guys want to get a shout out as well, all you got to do is go ahead. Press the join button below and very soon you'll get your very own shout out. As well guys, Mark My Funny Zombie has just reminded me that the majority of you aren't subscribed yet. So head down below as well and press the red subscribe button along with the notifications bell. Well Mark, I'm totally ready. Please morph us into the first mob, the baby spider. Wait, I think it's happening. So we are now morphing into the first mob, which is a very tiny spider. Whoa, this is insane. I didn't think today would become a mob like this, but walking around, we're literally the same height as all the grass around us. I wonder if we've got any special abilities. It would be so cool to find out as a baby spider roaming around, climbing up hills, and not taking any full damage. This is perfect, and we can even sneak up on Marco Funny Zombie. <laughs> it's gonna be super exciting. But let's not forget, Marco Funny Zombie wants us to do this challenge, which involves us taking out a spider pit. And then a spider sword with loads of different spider spawners. Let's go and do this. It's going to be the best day ever. So let me head right around here and let me go and spawn the Golgador spider pit, which I think is going to be really awesome. But for some reason, we get ourselves stuck. Maybe as a baby mob, it does turn out a little bit different for us. I'm going to spawn this structure. Let's do it right around here. What? It built instantly. And I think I can start to hear some spiders inside. Okay, we're getting ourselves stuck. Let's open these gates. And perfect. Let's slowly by slowly jump down, making sure not to get ourselves hurt. Okay, keep going. Perfect. Wait, there's some different types of spider webs around here. Okay, let's make our way in. And there we go. This is a giant spider pit. Okay, this can't be good. No. <laughs> we were instantly killed by evil spiders. I think I'm totally ready to go ahead and try again. I'm going to make my way back and on the way I can go ahead and start spawning some of these dangerous mobs. I'm really excited. I'm going to start off with the lightning spider. This one's going to be a great one. I'm going to do it right here. Whoa! Okay, the lightning spider has instantly destroyed us. And look, he's turning everything alight. That can't be good. And he's even destroying every single one of our guardians, which is definitely not working out great for us. Okay, I did spawn him right around here, but I'm not really sure where he is. I'm pretty sure we have to avoid everything at all costs, but making our way down is turning out to be really challenging. Let's go and have a closer look. Yep, these mobs are still inside. But maybe we could go ahead, close this door, and get them all stuck. <laughs> that is great. How about we do the companion spider? Ah, cool. So I have a feeling this spider won't go ahead and try and kill us. So we're doing all right so far. How about if we go ahead and spawn a dangerous one like the vampire spider that will go ahead and fight and latch onto our companion spider and suck all his blood. No, this is so dangerous. I can't believe it. Mark, I'm not going back to that pit whatsoever. Let me do the rideable iron spider. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is perfect. So we can now go ahead, ride this spider and get him to take us wherever he wants. But for some reason, he only moves when he wants to. So he can literally stay here all day and do nothing. How about we do the water spider? Whoa, there he is. I wonder if he's going to go ahead and shoot water all around our world. But as of right now, our iron spider is doing a great job. We should probably go ahead and try and help it. Ah, who's this guy? <laughs> okay, this is pretty intense. Let's go ahead and destroy it as fast as we can. And then we can go ahead and spawn the gas spider. Whoa, this is massive. So the gas spider is a giant gas that is going to go ahead and destroy our whole world with its fireballs. Let's go ahead, try and destroy it as fast as we can. 
and perfect. And because we're probably so tall, it doesn't get a chance to destroy us, which is really awesome. But sadly, it's going to take forever to go ahead and fight this mob off. So maybe we spawn the assassin spider. This might work out better for us. Oh, where did it go? Okay, I've just noticed half of our world is getting destroyed. And I can see the guard spider is fighting against the assassin one, which is really cool. But I do have a feeling we've got to avoid all danger right now. But you know what, guys? I've got one more spawner to go ahead and try out, which is the bulldozer spider. And let's go see what this one looks like. Oh, whoa. Okay, that looks super scary. And it seems like it doesn't like the fire whatsoever, which is turning out great for us. But I'm definitely ready to go ahead and morph into the next spider. Mark, where are you, my friendly zombie? I have a feeling he's totally ready to go ahead and morph us. And he's probably going to have to figure out what's inside the rest of the chest. So, Mark, let's go and do this. Oh, we're morphing. Oh, so we're turning into a bigger spider, which is the Mordor spider. This is so crazy. Okay, let's go and see what they were going to give us inside the chest, which I think was just loads and loads of different types of spawners as well. Mark, have you got them? I could easily do with those spawners right now. Perfect. I think we're all set. So Mark has given us loads of different items, including another spider pit, which I'm guessing is going to look very similar to the previous one. Let me just go ahead, spawn it right around here, and let's go and see what it looks like. Ah, cool. Yep, it looks very similar. I think just the coloring is slightly different. So we have the floor that looks different, as well as if we try and sneak our way through, but we seem to be well too big, we can go ahead and try and do this. I'm definitely worried about it. if we get ourselves stuck, it's going to be pretty impossible. Oh, we have a spider web shooter. Okay, let me get out of here because I'm just stuck. We're well too big for this. And I think this isn't even the Titan one. So imagine how big that's going to be. I'm going to spawn the ice one right here. And perfect. And there it goes. It's going to go ahead and try and shoot ice at us. But using the forest wand, we should be able to go ahead and tame it at least. Well, that didn't work out very well. But I can see that we have the dimensional spider that's going to be a great addition to the gas one. So let me go ahead and spawn it right here. And perfect. It's basically just a purple spider. And there it goes. Fighting against all of these evil mobs. I need to get out of there. <laughs> it's going to be pretty intense once they start fighting. How about if I go ahead and do the wind spider? Oh, cool. Wait, it will throw us into the sky and confuse us, which is really scary right now. Mark, don't go near any of those spiders. They're well too scary. But I do think we should be said if we can have a look at them. Look, they're all still fighting away and I don't think you can kill them. They're well too strong. I'm going to keep on spawning spiders though, like the rideable court spider. I'm perfect. And now we have a giant spider roaming around. <laughs> yes, we're so quick. This is one of the fastest spiders I've ever seen. Probably having the quartz on it is making it super fast and giving it special abilities. I like it very much. How about we go ahead and do the forest spider? That is probably one that's given us this forest wand. Oh, look, more spiders fighting. Gosh, that's so crazy. I thought spiders liked each other. How about if I go ahead and do the dragon spider? And let's go see what this one looks like. It looks really awesome. So it seems to have some sort of redness right on its foot. But it's trying to make its way in. Whoa! It's fighting against evil monsters. No! And now it views us as an evil mob. How about if I go ahead and do the mecha spider? That's basically a robot spider that looks really awesome. Look at his eyes. Okay. I'm going to probably have to go ahead and get Marco for his zombie to morph us into the final mob, which is going to be the Titan one. Wait a minute. Where are we? I thought Marco for his zombie was going to go ahead and morph us into the final stage. But wait, did you guys just hear that? I think we're inside a Titan world where everything that belongs inside this world will stay here and nothing will ever leave. And we've been given a spider titan as well as a creeper titan. I'm guessing that's why the golems are looking at us strange. Don't worry, golem. I'm going to try and spawn this as far away from the village as possible. And I think to keep us safe, we probably need to go inside creative mode. Because if not, we're going to die well too many times. So let's go and try this out before these evil titans get any closer. There we go. Let's go see the final stage of a spider titan. Here we go. Whoa. It's massive. And it's gone ahead and spawned loads of guardians everywhere that are different colors and can even go through the ground. And they're even making spider houses. This is actually really scary. So they use this to go ahead and destroy every single mob, as well as to make underground caves. 
Wow! This is insane! And he's throwing everyone into this guy. I have a feeling that's why the golems were looking at us weird. Because they don't want us to destroy anything. But you know what? We do have a creeper titan. So let me spawn this one right here. And let's go see what it looks like. Wow! It's going to be so cool. So I'm hoping the creeper one will fight against the spider one. And we can figure out if the spider titan would have been the strongest of them all. But I am a little bit worried that these mobs aren't going to be able to survive long. But look at all the spider minions that go ahead and follow the titan. This is absolutely insane. But they must be so scared of the titan that they don't even want to get too close. Look at them. They're keeping their own distance. But I can see that the creeper titan isn't too bothered about the spider one. Which is actually really unusual. How about if I spawn one more right on top? I wonder if they'll start fighting now. Is this going to work? Oh! I think it's starting. Yes! I think they're about to fight. Whoa! Here they go. So I'm not really sure who the fireballs belong to. But I can see that the spider titan is getting really mad at the creeper. And I think we're about to see who's going to win this giant battle. But sadly, it does seem like the creeper is slightly stuck. And he's just going ahead and shooting fireballs at everyone possible. But definitely the spider titan isn't loving this very much. Well, I have a feeling this battle is going to literally last forever. But I'm really glad that all the villagers are being saved. But I can see the spider titan is slowly by slowly getting himself closer to our wonderful village. And he's making more minions, which is not good whatsoever. Well, guys, I think we're going to be stuck here forever. And they're going ahead and destroying the whole village. No! <laughs> okay, he's destroyed everything. There is literally nothing left. Wow, this is such a shame. And I can even see the spider one is going ahead and not allowing anyone to live. All the villagers have tried their hardest to avoid this huge disaster. Well, guys, I have a feeling this is the final stage of our spider and there's nothing else to see. But I think this is just going to go ahead and be a huge destruction for our whole world. Let me make it back to the real world, guys, and I think it will be completely dumb. So, don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below button is red, and don't forget to go ahead and press the notifications bell so you'll never miss another spider titan ever again. So guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out.